Todd Howard described Fallout 76 as a softcore survival game. Death does not result in loss of progression. Instead, players merely drop all their junk items on hand. Players can retrieve their junk left behind in a bag, indicated by a map icon, though other players may steal it. Sometimes players are downed instead of killed, in which case another player can use a stim pack to revive them. Like previous Fallout games, the player can sleep in beds to restore their health, but due to the time of day being uniform in the server, sleeping does not advance time. Bobbleheads no longer permanently increase stats and instead only give a temporary boost. Appalachia has a railway connecting various train stations which can help supply the player. There are also 13 lookout towers where the player can examine the landscape at the top which will add new locations to the world map. Initially, food and drinks were important to help survive as starving would result in continual HP damage while being dehydrated would limit the maximum AP. This was later patched out, so that being more well-fed will grant more max HP and disease resistance while being hydrated will boost AP regeneration and disease resistance. Inventory management is a huge part of the game. Every player has their own instance stash box with a current maximum capacity of 1200. Stash boxes have the same contents no matter where they are accessed. Each character has their own stash box, meaning a player has a total of 6000. It is a common practice for players to find others to help them transfer items between characters to take advantage of this. Fallout first players have access to a scrap box which allows them to place unlimited amounts of components in it as long as their subscription is active. Diseases act as temporary debuffs and can be acquired by various means, by being submerged underwater without protective headwear, sleeping on the ground, or by fighting diseased enemies. While diseases do not last longer than an hour, they can be removed prematurely by using antibiotics, disease cure, or a symptomatage. A special sulfur water fountain in a gazebo near the White Spring Golf Club will also cure diseases. Mutations can be developed, either by being exposed to radiation, or by using a special serum. They are an important gameplay mechanic, and each mutation gives both advantages and disadvantages. They may be removed by Rataway, unless the second rank of the starched genes perk is equipped. Their effects can be temporarily suppressed by taking Rad X. The perk cards Strange in Numbers and Class Freak boost the positive effects and reduce the negative ones, respectively. Crafting is a major part of the game. Players loot junk items from the world, and scrap them into raw components, with which they can build a variety of items, ranging from weapons, ammunition, armor, furniture, to consumables such as food and medicine. Raw components are also required to repair weapons and armor, as they gradually deteriorate with higher quality equipment requiring rarer components. Certain items also require plans or recipes in order to be crafted. Ore can be harvested from mineral deposits, which can then be smelted at a chemistry station. Backpacks can be used to increase carry weight. A plan for small backpacks can be found exploring Morgantown Airport. A larger backpack involves the completion of the side quest The Order of the Tadpole.